Yo, what's going on guys? This is Burn again, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to post multi-part form data using AngularJS. Okay, so if you're learning multi-part form data, you are probably trying to post a form that is including a file upload. As you can see here, I have a full name, an email address, and an uh, avatar that I can choose a file. Uh, and then click submit. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to upload this entire form to your server. Now, if we look at the HTML for this form, you'll see a normal bootstrap form. Um, I've declared an ng model for the customer name and also an ng model for the email. Now, one of the pitfalls of Angular is it doesn't allow you to bind a file to using ng model. So we're gonna have to create a custom directive to link our file with our scope in our uh, controller. So in our JS directory, let's go ahead and create a new folder and call it directives. And then inside of directives, we'll create a new file and we're gonna call it file model.js and go ahead and save that. So actually, before we edit our directive, let's go back to our submit partial. We're gonna add a new attribute in the name of our directive that we're gonna create and we're gonna call it file model. And then we're going to add an expression in there, customer.file, and save that. Okay, so let's go to our file model.js and go ahead and create our directive, my app dot directive. We're going to call it file model. Um, and we're going to inject it with the parse service. I'll show you what we're going to use that for in a second. And then function course is going to be using parse and then down here we're going to return the directive object okay so we're going to go ahead and restrict it to being a attribute restrict a and then our link function is going to be scope element and then our attributes and then in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new variable called model, and we're gonna use our parse to look at our attributes uh, expression inside of it. So uh, parse attributes dot file model. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish the code up here and then I'm gonna explain it. Variable model setter equals model dot assign. And then anytime the element changes, we're going to execute this function. And it is scope.apply update our scope function. And then model setter scope element the zero element and the files for that element the first file in that so let's see if i can explain this um, we are using the parse service to look at our attributes specifically the attribute file model so let's go back to our submit here we're looking at this attribute and we're finding the value of that and of course the value of it is customer.file so what our directive is basically doing is watching that element for any kind of changes. When a change happens, it's going to find that attribute in the context here. If we look at our parse uh, documentation here, the service, it says if the expression is assignable, this will set a function to change its value on the given context. So our scope is the context we're going to change it on. This is the name of it, or, or you know, the, um, let's look, what was it? It's customer.file. So we're looking for customer.file in our scope. So uh, basically, uh, scope.customer.file. So we're going to change this value to the element files, which is basically the file that we're assigning uh, when we click on the little file button and we select a file. So we're going to assign that file to scope.customer.file. Okay, so now let's create a new service to help us post our form data. Uh, so we're gonna create a new file in services, new file, and we're gonna call it 
uh, multi-part form dot js and then we're gonna call my app dot service and we'll call this service multi multi-part form the multi-part form service and then we're going to inject the HTTP service into it let's see here HTTP and then the function will have of course the HTTP in it so in here we're going to create a new function this dot post is the post is going to be the function name um, function upload URL this is going to tell us where to upload it and then the data that we're going to upload now we're going to create a variable called the FD and that's going to be equal to new form data and form data is basically just a bunch of key and value pairs uh, so we can take the data uh, object and convert it to form data by doing the following um, for a variable key in the data we want to for, use the form data to append the key and the value of the key is the data key so basically what that is saying is uh, take every element of customer and put it into the form as a key and then take the value of every element in customer and put it in as the value for that key so now all we have to do is actually do an HTTP post um, the first uh, thing we have to put in is the upload URL the second thing is our form data and the third thing is a configuration so transform re request is the first thing angular dot identity and the reason we have to do that is because angular tries to serialize our data when we post and we don't want to serialize it because of course we're up updating like files and stuff like that we don't want to serialize it and then the headers is going to be set we're going to set the content type to undefined and the reason we're doing that is we're going to let the browser handle it itself uh, when we post uh, it's going to know what or the server handle it itself it's going to know what kind of data is being sent we don't really need to define it okay so now let's go to our controller and we're going to inject our new uh, service uh, multi-part form and then of course our function needs it as well multi-part form now what we're going to do is we're going to create a scope dot submit function it's going to equal function takes in nothing and it's going to say variable upload URL equals and we're just going to have it be slash upload and then we're going to use multi-part form dot post and then our upload URL and then our customer so that's basically actually it's scope.customer right so scope.customer now up here let's just go ahead and create scope.customer initiated as an empty object scope.customer equals an empty object and we'll save that so now let's go back to our partial and we're going to do an ng click on the submit button and we'll have that set to uh, submit function so that's it for the angular side now we need to adjust our uh, server side to accept multi-part uh, form data uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill my server here and I'm gonna do an npm install multer which will handle is kind of like a body parser for multi-party uh, or multi-part form data um, and we'll save that so we'll let that install so in order to use it we just gotta bring it in here uh, multer equals require multer and then down here somewhere we can just use app.use 
um, Molter. And inside here, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our uh, folder that we're going to be saving our objects in, so or our files in. So destination for our uploads is going to be uh, uploads. And we'll save that. Last but not least, we just got to create our route for posting. Uh, so uh, I'm just using my secure router, uh, one that you have to be logged in to use. Secure dot, or router dot post and then the route is slash upload and then the function request response and then all we're going to do is console.log our request.body that's where the form data will be and then um, we'll also console.log request.files that's where the file upload will be and then we'll just respond with some JSON uh, saying success is true, just so it, it gets some sort of response back from that post. And save that. So before we test it, we need to bring all of the files we just created into our um, uh, HTML here. So for services, we added a multi-part form JS. So let's add that, multi-part form.js. And then we added a new directive, directive, directives. Uh, and man, I can't get that out. Okay, and then file model. We'll save both of those. And then now let's test it. Okay, so let's put in our full name here, Brunarelli. And you can see down here, I've just posted, put in the actual customer object down here uh, so we can see what's actually being sent to our service. So email Brunarelli at gmail.com. And then our avatar will be, I don't know, this picture right here. You can see it says type is image JPEG. It gives all the file attributes. We'll hit submit. And then now you can see the server has received that. Um, it has our it received the post. It has our name is Brentarelli. Our email is Brentarelli at gmail.com. And then in our files request.file, it has all of our file specific information. It's a JPEG. This is the name of the file. Um, encoding, all that kind of stuff. And now we can go to our uploads folder and we'll see that the file has successfully been uploaded. So really quick, I just wanted to give credit to uncorkstudios.com, uh, Jenny Luthen, I believe that's her name, how do you pronounce it? Um, anyway, I got most of my directive code uh, from there, to a lesser extent some of the service code, but I believe I've changed that up uh, quite a bit to include form data other than just the file. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Guys, I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.